The application resource broker was released by Brocade in June of this year and is deployed with the ADX platform. In its current release, it supports physical environments as well as VMware environments through the vCenter plugin, and we plan to support future uh, or additional hypervisors in future releases. When you're looking at the functionality that ARB provides within a VMware environment, it's really twofold. Uh, first off, it bridges the gap between the application administrator and the VMware administrator, and really gives the VMware administrator insight into the application performance that he simply doesn't have today. When you look inside vCenter today with its native functionality, you can look at host performance and VM performance, and VMware is going to make adjustments, adjustments automatically through a DRS cluster configuration uh, to move those VMs based on their performance but it doesn't take into account application and it really doesn't have any idea at all what kind of application is residing upon the virtual machine. So this gives, uh, complements DRS and the, and the metrics that are already available within vCenter and gives that application performance to the administrator as well. Uh, the second benefit of ARB within the VMware environment it comes down to load balancing and making sure you're meeting those performance SLAs and maintaining the performance that's required of your applications once they've been virtualized. Uh, and it does this by using some pre predefined configuration metrics that the VMware administrator has made to spawn virtual machines as the demand on an application grows and then balance the load for that application across the additional virtual machines. Once the demand drops, conversely from that, it's going to go ahead and deprovision those virtual machines and everything goes back to normal. So it's really a great way for VMware administrators to maintain the performance of their applications once they've been virtualized and ensure that they meet their SLAs. When you think about why this is important to uh, VMware administrators, it's, it's really pretty you know, obvious. Um, I mean, firstly, we've already covered some of this today. Uh, it's going to help you meet your SLAs and maintain performance of the virtual machines and the applications that reside upon them. But secondly, it's really going to make your migration strategy when you're coming from the physical world over to the virtual world a lot smoother and easier to run. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of application owners who are insistent that their applications will not run on a shared environment such as VMware, that they need dedicated resources, they need the physical infrastructure dedicated to their application to ensure they can meet their SLAs of their end users. Uh, when you have a problem after you've migrated your critical apps into the virtual world, and of course IT managers have been tasked with virtualizing more and more as the technology has matured, you're really looking to maintain that performance level of the application. Um, and when the application owner does run into a problem and your phone rings and he says it's not performing the way we want it to, there's really not a lot of recourse for you to show him that it's not the virtual environment. When you look inside vCenter today, you could see your VM perf performing adequately, you could see your host running in the green. So you have nothing to tell him other than we don't see a problem. He's convinced that their application is not supported on a virtual environment and you end up rolling back to physical. Once you've deployed ARB and have the vCenter plugin installed within vCenter, now you can look at that application performance. You can see the number of connections to the application. You can see the response times. You can see the load it's being put under. And that gives you a lot more information to take back to the application owner so that between the two of you, you can work out where the issue is, what needs to be done, and you don't necessarily have to roll back to physical. So it really can be the difference between a successful migration strategy and one that sees a lot of your servers fail and, and roll back to physical and losing you in turn um, a lot of confidence in the platform you've spent so much time building out. When you're looking at how to deploy the application resource broker, there's a number of ways that Brocade can help, and the resource broker is really just one part of what we can do. Uh, in environments that are yet to roll out a large number of virtual servers, we can of course take a look at your migration plan, have a second set of eyes look at that and assess its uh, viability and make sure it's going to be successful. We can also look at your target ESX infrastructure and make sure that's configured for best practices for the storage and the fabric and the, and the network. Um, in the environments that are already well down the road to virtualization, we can come in and just make sure you're going down the right path and that there's nothing major that needs to be changed. And of course, the resource broker is part of this. How we bring the resource broker into your environment, how it's configured and deployed is all something that Brocade Professional Services can help you with.